What's up everybody? Hey, on this episode of Midnight Garage, we're going to be repairing a little scratch on this Ford Focus. So as you can see behind me there, we're going to be taking on a little bit of collision damage today. So, there's a little mark in this quarter panel. Somewhere around here. And a little bit of a scratch in that bumper cover there too. So, so yeah. So, I think what we're going to do, tear this thing down, see what we're working with, and see how we're going to go about doing this repair. Well, we got her torn down a little bit. As you can see, this uh, full scratch a little deeper than I thought. Yeah, she's pretty clobbered. So it's a pretty good repair. So I went ahead and pulled all the interior panels out. Was hoping I could get in there and push on something. But there's no access. Took everything apart and it turns out that she is all double walled. And we can't get at anything. So we're going to have to work it from this end. So, I'm going to start just trying to push things out a little bit. See if I can get a ram in there and uh, jack it out somewhat. To start with, I just want to make a little bit of room. So I've been working on it for a couple hours here, or an hour anyway. So I thought I'd bring you guys in for another look at where it's at before I carry on. So I've gone ahead and drilled these spot welds out of the quarter panel here so I could loosen this up. I was having trouble getting this back panel pulled out. So by separating them I was able to get that back to where it needs to be and then I'll keep working this piece, get it nice and straight. Um, the quarter panel is coming out slowly but surely. It's uh, it's a lot of work. Um, this appears to be high strength steel, so with high strength steel, you you're not supposed to use heat in the repairs. So 
Um, otherwise, I would probably heat this because it's, it's really tough to straighten out. But uh, like I said, a little at a time. So I was just going to take a break from that because it's getting close to the end of the day. And maybe kind of mock up the inside of this bumper cover. So, as you can see, this plastic cover is pretty bad. Um, but I looked it up, and these are around $700 for an aftermarket bumper cover. So, I'm going to repair this one. So I figured I'd kind of show you guys the steps, how I do them. Actually, I should go look out and I lean to. I've got a whole whack of bumper covers out there. But, yeah, never seem to have the right one. So, what I'm going to start with, I'm going to just put a little bit of heat on this where it's torn and just kind of get that back into shape and then I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do next after that. So I cut a piece of this mesh to give the plastic some strength. Now we're going to go mix up some plastic repair putty. some more tomorrow for when I do the outside but this is uh, Dominion Sure Seal plastic surgery I've showed you guys this stuff before it works really well I am a big fan of this stuff for plastic repair
So there we are. I'll be able to leave that to set until tomorrow. And then when I'm ready to fit the bumper cover to the car, when I've got the quarter panel to that stage, I'll be able to do that same repair on the outside. All right, so I had to turn down Slayer because if you guys hear it on my video, they'll go broke, just so you know. So, thought I'd bring you in for another look. Um, it's the next day, I've been working on this uh, for a few hours. So I've got this quarter panel mostly worked out. It is actually getting pretty close. So I'm gonna work this a little more. I have fitted the bumper and it seems to be fitting pretty good. So I'm almost ready to start putting some filler on this thing, just a little bit more hammer and dolly work. And then I will bring you guys in for another look. Well, if you're still watching, another day is coming to an end. So I thought I'd bring you guys in for a look before I shut her down for the evening. So, I got the quarter all worked out. Um, it actually came out not bad for as badly hammered as it was. So I've got just one coat of just a Duraglass fiberglass filler on it now and just kind of roughed out. So if you're not familiar what this stuff typically, what I like to use it for when I've really had to work the metal and, and in this case I've done some welding, I had to splice in a little patch there where it was torn open and I was doing a lot of uh, welding tabs and pulling on it. So I like to use a coat of this, it just seals it up nicely, it gives, gives it a little bit of strength uh, before I put body filler on. So, um, bumper cover is just loose on there, but as you can see, the, the fit is decent. So, um, yeah, a little more sanding and I'll, I'll get that all matched up nicely. And I've done, uh, first bit of repair on the outside of the bumper cover. So you know, I, kind of, I kind of showed you on the inside how I do these. You know, this is gonna be nice and strong, nothing wrong with that repair. Like I said, this was like a seven or $800 bumper cover, even just for an aftermarket one. So it's crazy expensive. So, you know, you can do a lot of repairs for that kind of money. And don't be afraid of the plastic, guys. Like, I don't know why nobody will repair this stuff. I've worked in lots of collision shops, and man, they get plastic with freaking scratches in it, and they throw them away. Because, oh, no, you can't, I want to repair plastic. Well, man, there's nothing wrong with that. This is, this is going to last just as long as the rest of the, probably the rest of the car. So, anyway, um, I showed you this stuff. This is that Dominion Sure Seal uh, plastic surgery. Um, maybe I'll, I'll show it to you guys again, actually because I've done videos before where guys have asked me about that stuff. So I bought some more today because I ran out when I did the inside, but so there's the stuff there that I use. So you can see there's a few, a few different ones. Um, I always buy the flexible for these bumper covers. Um, I haven't actually used the rigid kind, but yeah, I haven't run into anything where I've needed to. So, that's that there. This is a, yeah, Dominion Sure Seal 4008. Really good stuff. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Dominion Sure Seal products. Which, honestly, I don't know if that's just a Canadian company, if you guys get it in the States or not. But uh, I know 3M makes all, all that stuff too, all very similar. Um, the Dominion Sure Seal stuff is, is a lot more cost effective for a guy like me who's got a little shop. But anyway, just thought we would do a quick check-in, so I'm happy with how that's coming along. And then in the morning, we'll do some more sanding, finish up that bumper cover, finish up this quarter panel. And yeah, it's not gonna take much to get it to where it's ready for primer. And then the other thing I'm gonna be sure to do, um, I'm gonna have to get up inside this quarter panel and undercoat everything the best I can because you know, I was welding tabs to it. I did splice a piece in so there's obviously there's exposed 
metal on the back side of this quarter panel now with the with the welding and stuff so anyway till tomorrow come in for another look she is pretty much ready for primer at this point so filler is all sanded out nice so I don't, I don't know how much I'll put in the video but as you've probably seen the rear bumper cover has been on and off about 37 times but super important to have good gaps you know the entire job will look like crap if you got something that uh, you know, if you've got a jagged edge or or a uneven gap or whatever the case is, so so pretty important to spend extra time fine tuning. Just make sure you've got that just right. Um, this plastic retainer for this bumper cover actually it's it's holding the bumper cover good enough. It's not perfect. It I had to heat it and reshape it. But I just couldn't get a new one. Not available through aftermarket or Ford because COVID. We'll blame COVID because I still can't get parts. But anyway, so um, I say all the time, 90% of auto body is feel. If you can feel it, you are gonna see it. Doesn't matter having a pretty looking repair. Kind of just like welding. You can have the, the prettiest looking welds and post your pictures on Instagram, but if you don't have the right penetration, if that weld isn't proper, it's, yeah, it's gonna fail. It's not gonna be good. So you can't go off of the looks. You've gotta go off the feel. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. I've got a couple small little nicks. So as you can see, I was talking about kind of rough edges. I'm just going to do a quick little bit of putty on a couple of really small things. And then I'm going to get this thing into the booth and get some primer on it. All right, so I've got a few coats of primer on this little Hot Wheels here. So there is our repaired bumper cover all primed up and our quarter panel. So as you can see, you know, with the primer on it looks pretty good. I've already gone ahead and just put some seam sealer on where I separated the factory spot welds. Had to pull that quarter out a little bit, so that'll all get painted over. So, pretty much the end of the day, so I'll bring you guys back in tomorrow when we get back on this thing. I'll get it blocked out and ready for paint in the morning. <laughs>
prep work done. I didn't bother recording a whole bunch, but so basically what I've done, I blocked the panel out with like a 220 grit, and then I moved to a 320 grit, and then I finished with a 400 grit. Um, I have gone ahead and sanded the adjoining panel with an 800 grit. So the reason I do that when the repair comes right to the edge, just blending the adjoining panel is going to ensure a proper color match. Um, and back to the prepping thing, if you guys aren't familiar, um, something I learned years ago was to so always stick to the 100 grit rule. And that means staying within, when you switch grits, stay within 100 grits. So like I said, I, I went with 220, 320, 400. Um, so if you were to go, say, from that 220 grit directly to the, the finishing 400 grit, it's not going to take those 220 grit scratches out. You need to you need to be more gradual. So that's the reasoning for that. So that's prepped up. Rear bumper cover is all prepped up. I'm going to get this thing blown down, uh, get the booth swept out, and get her in there, and we'll get her painted. We're in the paint booth, the car is all masked up, ready to go. It's been all washed down with wax and grease remover and tacked off. So we're ready to start putting some color on. The job all painted. Just thought I'd bring you guys in for a sneak peek. So I'll let that sit overnight and in the morning we'll throw her together and come in for another look. So there she is all finished up for the customer guys. I've uh, put it together, give it a quick wash. So 
I mean, just to recap, so we obviously did a repair, a pretty big repair on this quarter panel and on the plastic bumper cover. Now, at the end of the day, the really proper repair on this car would have been to replace the quarter panel, replace the bumper cover, and actually there was a whole inner structure panel that probably should have been replaced as well. Um, but doing it that way would have been at least four times the cost of what this is costing my customer. In this case, it is just his commuter car for running back and forth to work. He assured me he's not putting it any concourse Ford Focus shows. So this is what the customer wanted, just fixed. I will still warranty this repair as long as he owns this car. So if you want to beat me up in the comments about it, I just figured I'd give you that disclaimer that, you know, it's, it's a good repair. It's not the absolute best repair, which like I say, would have cost a hell of a lot more. So that being said, this is another one ready to go. If these videos help you guys out at all, let me know in the comments and you know, if, if it helps you, you can help me out by just clicking the subscribe button. That just helps me keep these videos coming. I have fun making them, so what the hell. So, another one ready to go out the door. You know, the whole idea with doing these kind of repairs is for it to be invisible. You don't want it to look like it's been repaired, so. I think we did pretty good on this one. So there you are. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, come back to watch the next video. I am going to be getting going back on the 71 Chevy truck complete paint job if you followed the first video on that. And I have started getting some parts in for the Chevy 2, which we're doing mini tubs and a whole back end in it. So if you watched part one of that one, that should be coming up soon as well. All right, thanks again for watching. See you next time.